I'd like to take a second and show you some of the resources in the Reform Gold package, but before we do that, I thought I'd dive in to just what Logos Bible software can do for you as you're preparing sermons or research papers. So what I did is just from the start screen, I hit Romans 4, if I wanted to do some research in the book of Romans chapter 4, and the passage guide here will highlight commentaries, whatever commentaries are in your library, rather than flipping pages and pages of commentary, you can open it up right to Romans 4. These are a number of other tools available right inside the passage guide. Exegetical guide will walk verse by verse through the ancient language and it will give you the opportunity to open up different resources directly to that lemma or that, that word in the ancient language so you can gain insight that way as well. Default Bibles will open up. Whatever my highest ranking commentary is will open up. Further information, if you click on any word, it'll populate information for you on the side here. I, I just clicked on believe, believed, Abraham believed God. And when I did so, the information panel here gave me more insight on the word believe. And then text comparison. So give me a quick survey of how this passage compares across different translations of scripture. So this is a quick rundown of some of the capabilities that Logos has got for you. And this is just the basic tools that Logos 5 has. What I did for the Rome for the Reform Gold package is I went ahead and I saved a Reform Reformed Gold layout highlighting a few of the noteworthy resources that you gain from Reformed Gold. It'll load up for me. I have a few different applications running, but it's still pretty speedy. Um, I'm running a MacBook Pro. So I'll close this pas passage guide that I showed you earlier. Close the exegetical guide that I walked, that I mentioned earlier. So a piece of the Reform Gold package is um, all the works of John Owen. So if you'd like to do a quick survey of all of John Owen's works on the word justification, then um, you open the search panel, you select John Owen's works, John Owen's works, and type justification in, go ahead and select justification, hit enter, and it'll populate this list of results here. You can go occurrences, but you may just want to pick out which volume of John, the works of John Owen that you'd like to look at, which one that he speaks the most to this, this uh, matter of justification. And in this case, it's mentioned over 1200 times in volume 5. So while the others are important to offer a cursory view of and read through, this one here highlights it the most, so you may want to dig in here if you'd like to see what Owen says about justification. TDNT also comes with Reform Gold. TDNT is a popular lexicon. It's highly respected. Um, and focuses typically on etymology rather than on uh, a variety of other ways that you could approach a word. So justification or the Greek root that's typically associated with the English term justification um, is nuanced as such typically. So I just went ahead uh, by Strong's Greek by Strong's Greek number, by Strong's number, you can go ahead and sift through TDNT. So if you're not familiar with the Greek lemma, then um, you can still work your way backwards from the English. Um, maybe by your most 
uh, favorited English translation and you'll arrive at one of the Strong's numbers that you can gain insight from the Greek word itself. So you can dig through TDNT that way. Um, also included are um, Calvin's commentary. So there's 46 volumes of Calvin's commentary on scripture. And um, say we were continuing our journey through Romans 4 that I mentioned earlier, and I want to know what Calvin says on the matter, we can dig through and read his commentary directly, all tagged uh, by scripture, by different references. Um, if you want to open directly up to Romans 4.2, uh, you can click on any of the links here and that'll take you to it. You'll see it open up on the side here. Bob Inc.'s uh, systematic theology, reformed systematic theologian that numerous scholars like Packer and uh, Grudem, like a handful of scholars, have trusted um, these four volumes of systematic theology um, from the reformed tradition for centuries or for years now. And um, the, these four volumes are also included in um, the reformed gold package completely searchable within your um, search from the home page. These will populate as you're doing searches throughout, whether by topic, by passage, um, or whichever. So that's a quick cursory rundown of highlighted resources in the power of Logos 5.